Hey everybody, this is Sengoku here, bringing you another game. This is called 60 Seconds. So, the plot of this game is you have 60 seconds to gather up random things from your house and try and make it down to your fallout shelter before uh, the nukes drop. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how that goes and see what kind of loot we get. I think Apocalypse is the way it was intended to be played. This is the reatomized version. We'll try Fat Man and uh, see how long we make it, I guess. Water, essence of life. Basis force of survival. It's overrated. Okay, so I'm gonna have to grab as much stuff as I can. I assume all this stuff will be important. Oh god, where's the folly chart? Here. Grab the wife. Daughter. Oh god, where's my son? How do I jump? I <laughs> get an achievement for <laughs> just starting the game, essentially. Gas mask. Bad smell, toxic fog. Just put on a gas mask and keep enjoying life. So I got the whole family. Don't have a lot. Got really bare bones stuff here. Day one. All of us made it into the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're all together, we can make it work down here. We remember hearing canned soup is healthy for you. When we opened the shelter door, we noticed some of the shelves were already stocked. I can't really say we recall putting all of these supplies here. We're definitely going to put them to good use. Can I get a log? Our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans. Weird. We'll sleep on cans. We'll even talk to the cans. Some of us already do. There's just barely enough water for everyone. We will have to ration it strictly. Okay. I'm not gonna give anybody anything right now. It's not the best time or place to make plans for the future, but we can't help but think about what we're making of this terrible situation. Is our house still standing? Or do we have to move to some forsaken hole like Toronto? How dare they. Okay, there's one day. One second go. Wow, uh, got five o'clock shadow real quick, Ted. We can make it work, even in Toronto. <laughs> Question is, how do we find a boat to get there? We heard that's the best way to get to Europe. Europe? Uh, Ted seems to be doing alright, even though the world has gone to sh a crappy place. There isn't anything new bothering Mary Jane. If there was anything to report about Dolores, this is where it would have been written. Nothing new to report on Timmy. Good stuff. No, it's still not going to give you anything. Yes, we should. We should schedule. The trash can of ours is getting disgusting. The good news is we don't have much of an appetite when we see it. So we're saving some food. Yet for some reason we would like to tidy up this mess. Those giant green cockroaches are getting pretty... are a pretty good motivator. I don't have anything. So, unfortunate. Unfortunate. 
Oh god, this is a green cockroach. Oh my, that thing is huge. And there goes another one. Roaches everywhere. We're doomed. We already feel all dirty. All Ted wishes for are a few drops of water. Water is what Mary Jane needs most right now. There has to be some water left. Dolores should get it. Can't leave Timmy without water for too long. I don't have much water. No, no soup. I think they can go one more day without it. Let me see. Yeah, they're thirsty. They're good though. Who should go outside? Timmy. He's good just on his own. He's got everything he needs to survive. Timmy went out into the wasteland. We don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. Ted looks like he's got one foot in the grave. He needs to get a drink right now. Mary Jane keeps fainting. We really need to find for her for so. Yeah, we really need to find her something to drink fast. Dolores will not survive without any water for any longer. Yes, you will all get water. Congratulations. You found some weird mushrooms growing out one of the walls. Food shortage is no laughing matter, so maybe it would be a good idea to grab a mushroom bite or two. What's the worst thing that could happen? Uh, everything. So, no. Wow, survive five- Who doesn't survive five days? Uh, we may be hungry, but there are just some things we will never eat. Wall fungus is one of them. Ted is no longer thirsty, Mary Jane is no longer thirsty, and Dolores is no longer thirsty. So they seem to be doing pretty good. I think I'm gonna push food for another day. Where did that green puddle come from? Oh dear, a pipe is leaking green goo. That is not good. That is not good at all. We need to act now. And no one packed a mop. What do we do? Put on the gas mask. That's the only solution I have. Okay. Ah, problem solved. No leak, no mess. Back to our tidy little shelter. Mary Jane is quite hungry. Ted is fine. Today has been fine for Dolores this far. So they're getting hungry. Let's give them something to eat today. We learned a valuable lesson recently. If you don't do anything about roaches in your home, you'll end up with more roaches. That's not ideal. If we don't do anything about it, we'll end up all gloomy, just like them. Glowy. Uh, I'd like to be able to provide you with something, but I, I don't have it. how irradiated that sounded. Okay. Roach is... Yuck, a mutant cockroach. Our new cockroach roommates can be a bit messy, disgusting, and annoying. But surely this is not the worst thing that could have happened to us, and there's not much we can do about it anyways. Maybe one day we'll manage to convince them to pay re the rent. All Ted wishes for are a few drops of water. Mary Jane is no longer hungry. Getting something to drink for Mary Jane sounds like the right idea. Okay, we need to. I'm gonna give him water tomorrow because we need to ration. It's really weird when you get the feeling that something is watching you. Our shelter is tiny. This has been bugging us for a while now. We checked all the closets, and there's no one hiding there. Is there something alive down here besides us? Maybe a rodent of some kind? If so, we need to show that we are the dominant species. No, we are not anymore. We are living with all of the pests and creatures. Phone is ringing. We have a phone down here? As we were running around looking for something to smash the furry rodent with, it just disappeared. So did one of our cans of food. The question is, how did that little devil fit through one of those little holes? It looks like he's got a foot in the grave. He needs to drink water right now. Mary Jean keeps fainting. Yeah, I'm gonna give you water today. No, nope, not food, water. Not food, water. Hopefully Timmy brings back water. 
I didn't expect to get a phone call so soon after the atomic bomb dropped. Yet here we are, we can clearly hear a phone ringing outside. Must be the public phone booth on the other side of the street. Yeah, the uh, kids... The kids can go outside. <laughs> that's what that's what they were made for. Ah, Timmy's back. Looking good. I don't know what's going on here, but not great. When we answered the phone, we could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. They started exchanging information when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope they will get back to us. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back from the wasteland and is safe with us now. We spot an unknown group of people scavenging in our neighborhood. They have a lot of bags and backpacks. Too many, even. They were really busy and didn't notice when one of their backpacks went missing. With a little help from us. Lucky find, there's some cans in inside. Oh, it's soup. Awesome. At the bottom of the backpack, underneath the dozen or so pieces of women's underwear, we found a first aid kit. Ah, a deck of cards. Cool. Better than nothing. Yep. This last expedition got us thinking, maybe we could just drive away from this neighborhood somehow. Of course, most automobiles available are completely burnt out. What if we find a solid base and scavenge enough parts? Perhaps we can build a vehicle of our own. Better keep an eye out for all those on future exp expeditions. That first aid kit, good stuff. Not doing well. Let me give you something to eat now. Probably been hungry out there. Okay. Yeah, let's plan to send Mary Jane out tomorrow. As we were considering alternatives to canned soup diet, a sudden knock at the door broke our line of thought. It turned out we were visited by a band of survivors who were in pretty bad shape. All they want was something to drink, a bite to eat, or at least clean bandages. Miss to give them anything, but I'll give them some food. Maybe it'll pay off. We will see. Oh, Timmy is not looking good. Our visitors were in tears when we gave them what they asked for. We survived the nuclear apocalypse only to be nearly strangled by thankful refugees. Hugs can kill, you know. Lucky for us, they decided to continue their journey to get somewhere safe before the sun set. As they were about to leave, one of them presented us with a portable radio. They would not take no for an answer and soon left. Awesome. I assume, I assume the radio is very important. Uh, yeah. He's gonna need something, some medicine. Okay. He is hungry, and he is thirsty. I was gonna give them food today. Get food. Uh, you are going, Mary Jane. Break or use something in your shelter. What did I break or use? Oh, I used this. Great. Mary Jane went inside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. Timmy's very hungry. Timmy was cured. Timmy's in terrible shape. We need to get him water now. Dead needs water to survive. Water is all Dolores wants. Dehydrated. That's not good. So I'll give Timmy water now and then I'll give the rest of them water tomorrow. Uh, if there's anyone who can rescue us from this hellish situ situation, it's our government. You can badmouth them all you want, but that probably means you're either a naysayer or a commie. We're good citizens and we've been paying our taxes regularly. So we're sure Uncle Sam is coming to get us. Well, except that one time we never mind. The government are coming and we should keep our ears and- Yeah, sure the go- I mean- 
government's never done anything underhanded. Sure, they have our backs. We knew it. The government has not fallen, and they're coming to save us. They didn't give exact dates on their radio transmission, but we're sure they won't keep us waiting long. You know, just 30 to 60 business days. <laughs> they said they'll be in touch uh, in a couple of days and told us to await further instructions. Timmy is very hungry. Uh, yeah, I get it. You're hungry. They're all hungry. water day for you though. Is it water day for them? Yeah, I'm trying to do every, I think for every four days for water. It seems like a good, a good plan. I know you're hungry, Timmy. We learned a valuable lesson recently. If you don't do anything about roaches in your home, I, I get it. There's roaches. There's no, I don't have anything. I got tons of food and water, and now it's almost all gone, and I didn't get anything else. Living with roaches can't be bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, he's re getting really hungry. Let's see if I can push it, though. Uh, there it goes again. Noises. Weird noises all the time. Where are they coming from? Those pipes? Walls? Something behind that door? We don't know, and it's driving us insane. Shh, sit down and relax, otherwise we might get paranoid. Play some cards. I hear someone knocking. Having some fun made us forget about- What was that again? Timmy's very hungry. Uh, yeah, I, I know you're hungry, buddy. They all say they're good. Hungry and thirsty. I can't really spare more water though. So you get food tomorrow. Yeah, I'll give you a little bit of water for now, and hopefully. Last thing we expect to hear while sitting in a folly helper was a trumpet. It was played by someone who clearly not a trumpet player. He probably never heard a trumpet player in his entire life with a friend who knocked on the door and demanded that we let the merry men enter so they could take from the rich and give to the poor should we let them in uh, are we the rich or are we the poor i'm gonna say no because <laughs> they might consider us the rich We answered those peculiar calls and kept knocking until the noise outside faded away. We're not exactly sure what those people want to come back. They sounded harmless enough. I didn't know that they sounded. They didn't sound anything. Fifteen, so it's food day. Food day. Very little left. It's high time we stopped wondering about what's going on and started asking questions. Or at least listen to some reasonable answers. Yeah, let's turn on the radio and check it out. It's another water day. Oh, where's Mary Jane with that water? I need some. We were able to get a weak signal and tap into the government's emergency announcement service. And guess what? Great news! The fallout outside is mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel the surface from now on. Uh, yeah, you need something to drink. I don't think you need... You just need some food. Let's give you that. What we would give to be able to enjoy the sunshine again. We can't say there's a lot of light under underground. We don't expect it to get any brighter down here. In a nuclear fallout, it not being super bright is probably a good thing. Cockroach has got a little soup house. That's nice of him. Hopefully the time to leave will come soon. How hungry is he? Ah, uh, when 
don't think I give him water. I gave him water yesterday. I don't think did I give Timmy water now. He's just always hungry, like perpetually hungry. I'm gonna have to hold out if I don't get anything. There's nothing I can do with these roaches, people. <laughs> oh, I think that's Mary Jean coming back. Ooh, she's looking rough. Uh, yeah, cockroach. Okay, she returned. We spotted an untouched door with many products inside, even food from different than tomato soup. A real treat. When we were about to reach a terrible noise made us stop our tracks. Something heavy fell straight from the sky, crashing into the store and destroying it completely. After the dust settled, we realized looking at it, a spaceship. Just like in Timmy's comics. Could it be saucer men from Mars? Then why does it bear an American flag on the side and the logo of something called Astro Citizen? Could it be infiltration? Crafty little alien buggers. Uh, under a bunch of metal space junk, we found a tired old teddy bar, bear, and some supplies. The bear looked disappointed. We ended up turning him around. Could not handle his judgmental button eyes. Okay, food and water. Awesome. Okay, Mary Jean is sick. I can't help you with that, though. Okay, so... She's probably very hungry. Okay, you're dehydrated. You're hungry. And tired. You are hungry and dehydrated. Let's, let's do this. Yes, we're gonna send... Ted, I guess? Yeah, let's send Ted. Oh, Mary Jane, that cough. It's not great. Oh, jeez, Ted. What have you seen, sir? It's all, it's true, it's all true. There really are others just like us. We arrived at a rendezvous, unarmed and on time. We were greeted by a friendly looking group of survivors. They were being led by twins, a brother and a sister, who seemed to be friendly enough. They asked some questions and promised to stay in touch. Mary Jane's dyke used some, a little food. We don't care, uh, yeah, I can't do much about that. Uh, where's the water when Ted needs it? There has to be some water left. Timmy's no longer hungry and no longer thirsty. Awesome. Yeah, I know you're thirsty. We're gonna push it one more day. Ted, you're going outside. You're gonna bring the flashlight with you, I think. Yeah. Go on, Ted. Hopefully Ted will find a first aid kit. Yeah, you're super sick, sleep all the time. Okay, she's dehydrated. So it's food day. And it's water day. But it seems like Timmy's okay, so I'm gonna push him a little further. Yesterday during trades we learned that Mary Jane doesn't know how to spell anti-disestablishment Arianism. <laughs> oh jeez, that's a mouthful. And it has left Dolores sorely disappointed. She insists on a home rather or rather, shelter schooling. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Even though she's <laughs> sickly and looks like she's on death's door. Okay, Ted's still gone. Oh, we got a first aid kit. Dolores does not mess around. What started out as a spelling exercise has quickly found its way to a math revision, followed by a short physics course by entering on tinking with random objects in the shelter. Ray Jane looked exhausted she always looks exhausted um yeah let's we can actually take care of her he's fatigued we're gonna use the first aid 
Okay, yeah, I can only pick it on her. <laughs> Just thirsty's not enough. I need some serious dehydration going on here. Received another transmission from the army. Uh, they'll be doing a quick sweep of the area and ask all the survivors to leave markings at the nearest bus stop to indicate they're around. Markings are to be made with cards. Uh, yeah, I got the checkers, so let's do that. Day 22! I mean, she's looking better. Timmy's looking rough. What's got Timmy looking so rough? Cards are in place. All we need to do is wait for the army to pinpoint our location. That shouldn't take too long, we hope. Mary Jane is quite hungry and still tired. Uh, it's all well now. Yet Timmy is looking rough. Let's give him some water. Sleazy looking trader carrying an equally scruffy bag on his shoulder paid us a visit. He offered us a simple one-time deal. For just one can of soup, we can get the bag and all of its contents. We can't see what's inside. No, definitely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> if I had an abundance of food, I would be on board, but... I, might, I should have maybe I should have taken that deal to get some squash this, uh, squash this road, but... Grandparents always told us to never buy anything, uh, sight unseen. We're not about to start now. Gone are the times of yard sales. We can manage without whatever junk is in that mysterious bag. Oh, cry. Everyone needs water. I think today is a food day. No, it is not food day yet. You seem kind of... I'm trying to think here. So if we've been doing every four days, that's 4, 8, 12, 16, 20... Okay, one more day, yeah, and then I'll give him some water. I know they're not playing around. I wish I had something for you. I, I just don't. The family is looking super disheveled. New cocker, yeah, the co there's nothing I can do about that. Yeah, everyone's hungry and thirsty. It's water day though. Congrats everyone. Water day. Timmy, you're looking alright actually. I'm gonna save your water. You can get some water tomorrow. Mary Jane has been caught sneaking out under the cover of night. Dolores was furious when Mary Jane revealed she was going on to go on a date with some bandit boy. She met him uh, during an expedition. Mary Jane asked for a chance to contact her date via written note to a bug. Yeah, that sounds good. Young love. Oh, Ted. No, not to. Oh. Someone broke her arm. Ah, uh, damn. She saw the bandit and hands with some bandit girl. Wow. What happened to her? She's how'd she get injured? <laughs> they didn't even explain how she got injured. I can't even heal her. It's food day, everyone. Trade alert, Timmy's salvaged comic books are mostly harmless since Pulp Fiction. However, some of them don't feature the brave Astro Citizen program astronaut. But cosmonauts, filthy commies. The boy is eating up Soviet propaganda. What a disgrace. Should we banish Timmy to the wasteland for his traitorish way? <laughs> no. No, you should not. You can stay in bunker, comrade. He graciously allowed Timmy to stay in the shelter despite his actions. We believe in the power of rehabilitation and second chances. Also, we're running out of toilet paper and these propaganda books will do nicely. Uh, I know... I wish I could do something for Mary Jane's... 
wounds here, but I can't do anything. Uh, we're a regular family. We have occasional arguments too, but it was never as intense as the fight we just got into. No one wants to speak to each other. Tedman, I need you to come back. Hopefully you brought, you did bring a first aid kit and you're sick. Awesome. There's nothing better than quiet after the storm. Or was it the other way around? Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. We set off on an expedition to the nearby zoo we used to visit on weekends. We're happy to report that it was a productive supply run as we as well as an educational trip. We saw pterodact whales, chimpandeers, a porcupony, and a small army of cat roaches and other majestic creatures that have emerged among the post-nuclear fauna. Between the East Asian and Australian sections, we found some cute pandaroos. Some had items stashed in their pouches, and they didn't seem to mind us borrowing a few things. The marine life section has collapsed. During a radioactive pond in the middle of the zoo filled with creatures like piranates, piranites, yes, and sea ponies in half-destroyed aquarium control rooms. We found an undamaged cupboard with some supplies. A friendly looking crab topamus lazily observed the sea life section from a distance. In its den we found the body of a zoo worker with some possessions lying around. We made our way to the African section and admired the atomic okapi. Uh, we're not sure if mutated or not, it already looked weird as hell before. We scared off a group of them and found something stashed. Awesome. Ah, the flashlight's broke down. That's unfortunate. Our little trip to the surface might have been spotted and followed. We should be more careful next time. Okay, so we do have... He's sick. And she's injured. She came first, so if I can get her better, she can go out on expeditions. How is he doing? How are you? Fatigued, hungry. Yeah, tomorrow is a water day. Yeah, we're gonna go on an expedition. Okay, so we can actually deal with these cockroaches now. We've won the battle, and maybe even the whole war. After the massacre was over, we tied up the cockroach remains and dumped them next to our shelter. Let that be a warning to all the other insects out there. Don't mess with us. Ted is still sick. Yeah, yeah, it is water day, so... Starvation. That's not good. Water. Water. He seems to be okay. Let me give him some food. Who are we gonna send it to? Who is gonna go? I'm thinking Timmy. Timmy, you're the man. I'm gonna, send, I'm gonna send you empty-handed. Cause we might need all these other things. Some interesting art we're doing around here. It's a good look. Day 29. Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know what to, what we'll do if he doesn't come back. Yeah, Ted is super sick. Yeah. Super sick. Dehydrated. Okay, you get some water today. I know you're 
you're hungry and tired. The siblings have visited us today. They told us they're searching the town for a safe place that would do well as a possible camp. I don't have a map. As far as the group has been living in a tent, but they're picking up more wastelanders every day and they simply don't have enough space. They mentioned that a map of the neighborhood could be... Yeah, I wish I had a map. Barely able to grab anything. He was rough. Okay, day 30. We could use a map ourselves. Our friends understood and said they would pop in from time to time to check. Okay. It is food day. I only have one can of food though, but it's all I got. Hopefully, Timmy brings us some food. The vehicle parked us down the street if you. It sure looked unique, but we never got close enough for a good look. We're almost certain it's not a bandit trap. Yeah, Dolores, you've been uh, living in the lap of luxury so far, so... Hopefully she's come back sick or injured. She looks alright. A shocking discovery! It was a rusty tank! It was a little crispy around the edges and was also missing wheels and some other crucial parts. But the seats were fairly comfortable. Wouldn't it be amazing to just drive away and leave the radioactive hell behind us? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're all good for now. We're afraid the army wouldn't get back to us, but they eventually did. The next transmission was full of evacuation promises, but ended on a big if. Speaker requested that any survivor groups armed with firearms should dispose of that them before they get rescued. I mean, I don't have any guns, so... I don't know. I hear a knock. We got a knock. Who be that? Since we didn't have any guns to begin with, soldiers shouldn't have any issues with us. Yeah, it is a water day. Water day. Water. Water. I'm gonna push... No, I'll just give you water now. Might as well get them all over it. Ooh. I don't have any... Ooh, I wish... I need that radio. I don't have... One for that, one for one, one for one. I don't know if that's worth it. I think the board games keep them sane. But water keeps me... surviving. Yeah, let's do it. I still have cards, I think. 33, Timmy's back. And he's not sick! I don't know how he can see where he's going, but... No first aid kit, Timmy, you're a failure of the sun. Uh, we exchanged the goods with the trader and she went on her way. She insisted we should listen to the radio broad. Yeah, you wanted my radio. What would I do with the radio then? I came back. Never liked people who boarded long distance buses with baggage just full of food, especially the kind that smelled bad. For our current situation, we would be more than happy to find suitcases filled with canned soup. Or even some smelly cheese. Uh, our local athletics team was prepared to depart for a championship taking place somewhere in the boondocks. Their bus was full of refreshing water and spare shoes. Unfortunately, none of them were a match for us, so we just took the water. Uh, we believe that our expedition to the wasteland must have been followed by strangers. I don't know how to be more careful here. <laughs> Let's see, Timmy, how are you doing? You're good. You're good. I need a first aid kit real bad, though. Uh, yeah, we'll send... We'll send Dolores. Truly, you'll get a first aid kit for your loving husband. She leave or oh god I got a, a rifle I don't know if it's a good thing <laughs> we're not supposed to have a rifle 
Uh, let's see, Ted is hungry, he's still sick. He's a little food, want something to eat. Timmy's diet needs food, it's today or never. How hungry are you, Timmy? Starving, yep, that's... That's food. That's all my food. Dolores, you're gonna go, and I'm gonna give you the gun. Now are the hard times. I have no more food to dole out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't have anything there. Unfortunately, starvation. Crap. See, today is, is, hunger, is food day normally. Uh, enjoying. So, when Mary Jane found some seeds in the shelter, she got really excited. She thinks with a little luck and enough people to grow our own food. Uh, yes. Please try. Because <laughs> without food, we're dead. Okay. Here goes nothing. Let's see what happens in a few days' time. We'll just hope that seeds don't turn into some useless flower. Uh, I don't I don't have any food for you guys. This this might be the end. I'll give you water, but that's all I can give you. Uh, it seems the whole shelter has been shaking every couple minutes, and it feels like it's getting stronger every time it happens. Here it comes again. Hold on to something. Gas mask. Day 37. Uh-oh, what was that? I don't know. We got to the gas mask in time, just before it was about to get smashed by- Oh, the re- it was a choice between the radio or the gas mask. I would have taken the radio. Oh, God. Damn it. Yeah, you're all starving. I'm, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I wish I could do something for you, but... I can't. Tim's not doing great. It would be good to talk to him and cheer him up. Sure. Your dad is gonna die. Yeah. And he's dead. <laughs> and he's dead. You were too maybe in someone's mood. Timmy seems to be better now. Yeah. I don't know what to say, man. You want some water and we'll let you up? Nope. Can't do, uh, can't do any of that. Dolores is gonna come back to find her whole family dead. And she's sick. Refuse the trade. Ration supplies. Yeah, you're starving and you're sick. Siblings are back. We don't, we need to get a map, obviously. 40 days. Did she run away? Um, unfortunately we couldn't be of any help to them today. You were good. From the wastelands. Uh, let's see. Our expedition went directly to visit the primary school. Not for education, of course. Oh no, we are desperate for supplies. And the school is our best chance of getting them. Uh, the biology gas in the aquarium. The fish had died. So we got some water. We got, uh, a scouting handbook. Uh, let's see. We get the map. Um, no food. What happened? Couldn't spare any food for Mary Jane. Eventually she reached a boiling part where her stare was enough to kill. She left without a word. Highway woman and get all the food she would ever need. Uh, you're all dead. Like, no food? There's nothing we can do. We can send Timmy out for some food. Found it, this is the end. Uh, 
Uh, great, we got a whole pot of cold coffee. The taste is weird, didn't have any sugar or milk to give the flavor, but it'll do. Step up from the bland, slightly irradiated water we've been drinking. The pot only held a few cups worth of coffee and we gulped it down in mere minutes. That's a terrible thing to do if you're starving. Uh, <laughs> yeah, with no food, you might all be dead. I'll give you some water, fill your stomachs with water. Maybe that'll do something. I'll send Timmy. With the gun. Go, Timmy. Save your family. Please. Oh, dear. We've got a, uh... What the hell's the move? Plant shop horrors. Little shop of horrors. That's the one. Come to ration supplies. If you're... If you're thirsty, I can help you, but... Yeah, let's kill it. It's not every day you wake up to a carnivorous plant trying to eat you. This is how our day started. Curse Mary Jane's plant and any gardening ambitions we had. Who'd have guessed the seed would grow into a bloodthirsty demon? We need to get rid of it. Hey, with the axe. Can we chop it up and like make a salad or something? We did! Awesome! Okay. That's actually all. That's really useful. Okay. So you're starving. I can help with that. Susan and Trader carrying an equally scruffy bag on his shoulder paid us a visit. He offered it a one time. No, I cannot spare the soup. I am sorry, sir. I'd love to know what's in that bag, but... Soup is all I got. Look at Ted. Like, this is what happens when you don't have soup. Yeah, let's see... Standard stuff, ration supplies. She's still starving. Tough. If you're dehydrated, I can help you. Nope. We're gonna have to ration. A galloping horse. We rushed to the door and were greeted by two men dressed as they come from an evil fair. We identified the source of the sound. It was one of one of them was holding two rocks and hitting them against each other constantly, while the other was skipping and pretending to be a rider. They said they're looking for some antique cup. But they got lost, and so they'd be most grateful if someone would let them check our map. Provided we have one. I think I need the map for those twins. So hopefully we won't let them... They won't run away with it. Ah, it's still there, so that's a good sign. They seemed friendly enough, so we let them have a look at our map. They thanked us and offered us some supplies in exchange. We graciously accepted, which... So the harmonica is the supply now? That's the thing? Okay. I don't know what day I need to make it to. We opened the bunker door this morning and let in some fresh radioactive air. We discovered a small suitcase on our doorstep. There was a note on it and the neighbor, the neighbor had seemed empty. Should we take a look inside? Yes. You should. It's probably that traitor. What do we get? I don't see anything new in the shelter here. Let's see what it was. It was food! Yes! Awesome! You ate yesterday, you liar. Uh, spiders seem to be operating under the assumption that they have all the same rights to the shelters we do. They're everywhere and don't seem very scared of us. It's time we change that. We don't want spiders in our soup. No, sir. And I'm with the book! Why would you use a first aid kit? Like, <laughs> who's got just first aid kits, like, walling around, like, tons of them? The air seems moaty. I don't know what all these moats are. I always knew that books were precious. They are the perfect weapon for waging total war and insectoids of any kind. Fear will keep the local spiders in line. Fear of this scout handbook. While chasing them around the shelter, we found a misplaced water bottle. That was a good hunt. Awesome. How you doing? You are good. Ooh. We always thought life could be much better. That was before we got nuked. Now we think life can be much better. In a way that not much has changed. Yeah, it really, uh, really puts things into perspective. Timmy, my boy. Looking good. 
Looking good, champ. You're not sick. Uh, who knows? Maybe the new world will offer new opportunities. It won't be that bad. Timmy's back. Uh, our expedition was able to get to a local hospital. It appears that the blast blew up some of the upper floors, beds, some with patients still on them, and shreds of medical equipment were lying all over the place. However, after exploring the first floor, we concluded that the majority of people inside evacuated the building in time. Awesome. The canteen had a respectable supply of tomato soup, and it looks like it was the only thing they fed their patients. <laughs> now we're 100% sure it's healthy. Lots of water. And uh, first aid, that was the best trip ever, Timmy. Uh, one of the p dead patients had an axe sticking out of his back. Awesome. Okay, how's everyone feeling here? You're hungry, you're thirsty. You're good. You're good. We're gonna send Dolores for sure. Could you really use some more supplies? We counted all of them today and the numbers did not make us happy. Time to do something about it. We know that a teacher from a local school managed to rescue a bunch of kids and lead them to a nearby building where they're relatively safe. We could really use whatever they have. We could really use it, right? Uh, no. No, I'm not- I don't want to risk that. I think, uh... I think if we keep having successful missions out, I can keep two people alive. <laughs> We're no bandits. Sure, we need supplies, but not at the cost of others. We don't bother these people. A man who takes canned soup from another is not worthy to taste that soup. Let's just hope that everybody else out there is decent as our family. They are not. Uh, Timmy keeps falling asleep in his chair. He needs a few days to rest. Timmy's been talking about uh, nothing other than water. Okay, water. Water. Dehydration. Starving. Starvation. Okay. Dolores, you're gonna go out with the gun. Because I don't want it in here if the army shows up. <laughs> is gone. He needs water now. You got it, kiddo. It has become more and more difficult to breathe in the shelter over the last couple of hours. We suspect there's something wrong with the ventilation. Maybe he got stuck. I don't know, you Boy Scout book? <laughs> I don't know how to fix it. Who's snoring? What's snoring? Idea. Using the handbook to research vent maintenance seemed like a fair idea. We figured it's full of pointers on how to fix things. Must have a chapter on nuclear shelter air filtration systems. Before we can even check, we were invaded by a group of angry mutant insects who flew out of that cursed vent. Their stings hurt like hell and it seemed to give us a fever. Okay, Timmy is sick. Awesome. So I can cure your sickness. Yeah, let's cure your sickness. A gang of thugs are banging on our door, ordering us to surrender and give all our supplies. How do we respond to these scumbags? Let's just lock that door. Got the pacifist? We didn't think a small padlock would stop them, but it turned out to be enough to discourage unknown attackers. It seems that they gave this whole break-in a fair shot, but ultimately gave up and left. Too bad that padlock is in no shape to be used again. We need to think of other ways to fight off bandits and other soup-hungry barbarians. We were able to fight off the bandits this time, but there's no guarantee they won't come back. We need to be prepared at all times. Timmy was good! What do you need, buddy? You're okay. Uh, we played a game of list the things you hate the most and our neighbor's name kept coming up for some reason. That reminded us that that little weasel had a safe in his living room. We just wondered what's inside. Maybe it's time to finally figure out. Yeah, Timmy, you're, you're a cured. You can go check it out. Oh, 
Well, you're back, so that's the thing. Ooh, no. Got a radio. Found the safe cracked open by the blast. Most of the contents were destroyed, but we managed to salvage something out of it. Ned was nowhere to be found. He's likely perished in radioactive agony. All told, it was a good day. Yeah, you need some food, buddy? Yeah. A little thirsty. You know what? No, I gotta be careful. I gotta ration. I don't have either of those things, friend. Yeah, don't have anything for ya. It's hard to cheer turn her down because of that damn chill for cheerful <laughs> it was hard to it was hard to turn her down because of that damn cheerfulness, but we did it anyways. The woman seemed a bit disappointed and tried to offer us schematics for some weird gun. We turned that down too. It's not like we have any tools around here anyways. He needs water now. Yeah, okay, you are gonna get water. There's men on our doorstep and he wants to be our friend. At least that's what he says. He looks harmless. Although he seems to have acquired an extra pair of arms as a result of some weird mutation. He assures us we will not get sick and ask for our help if we could provide him and his group with some supplies. Yeah, I can give I can give a water. I can spare a water, I think. I think. Hopefully that pays off. Let's see here. Feels good to have some friends in this cruel, empty wasteland. A few of our supplies is a small price to pay when it comes to the safety of our family. How you doing here? You're good. Let's see, what's our food sitch? We're starting to run low. Tricky, tricky. There's only two of us now. I don't know what day I need to make it to. I wish I knew. <laughs> Hopefully 60. I think I can make to 60. I don't know if I, how much longer. I gotta make it. Yeah, let's give him ooh, two for the gas mask. I feel like I might need the gas mask, though. Let's just go one for one. Oh, Dolores is back. He's not looking super happy. We need to deal with the salesman. He strolled away in the wastelands like he knew exactly where he's going next. The nuke did the most of the destructive work, but gasoline reserves onto the nearby gas station blew up as well. All that was left of the place was a crippled cashier's booth and the remains of several cars. Someone might have thought 60 seconds was enough for a gas refill and a quick getaway. They thought wrong. A few water bottles were scattered around the cashier's booth. None of the explosions damaged them. Though it is funny how that pipe shadow got burned into the wall. Huh. Uh, we stumbled upon a half-eaten sandwich in the cashier's booth and some bug spray. Okay, let's see. Yeah, you're hungry, I get it. Yeah, yeah, you're- I think you guys are good. Yeah, I'm gonna schedule Timmy, you're gonna get out there. Just when we thought it might have been a quiet day, we got invaded. A group of bandits on the other side of that door demanded we walk out with hands in the air or they will get in the hard way. Harmonica? <laughs> Let's try it. This might be bad. I like the idea of defending ourselves with harmonica, though. Get out of here. They lowered their weapons down and cried a few tears. Surprised by the beauty of our music. They let us live today. Dolores complained she still can't a good night's sleep around here. Water is all Dolores wants. Yeah. Okay, she is starving. She needs some food. I think you are good. Let's see if we can push that another day. Timmy. Where's the gun? You're going out there, boy. Day 58.
Let's see, you are dehydrated. You need some water. You're a little hungry. I think you can make it another couple days, though. The army started broadcasting again. They are requesting a representative from all survivor groups to meet them at the specified location nearby. Uh, they wish uh, to question people before they evacuate us from the area. Not sure if this is good or bad. Ah, Dolores, you gotta do it. Army's our hope. We managed to make it to the meeting in time. We tried our best to answer the questions the soldiers asked us. Hopefully we fulfilled their expectation and our ragged appearance didn't make a bad impression. You're good. Uh, the siblings are back. Their group is growing bigger with each passing day as they try- as they picked up tired and hungry survivors and nursed them back to health. Okay, yeah, let's use the map for the, the siblings here. Oh, no changes, everything looks... Uh, we are happy to see them again. We quickly handed them our map and pointed out several locations that might be worth checking out. They left before it got dark to still get a few hours of scouting in daylight. Uh, but they said they would definitely be back again to share some news and friendly chat. We hope they find a good place. Maybe we could visit them when their camp is ready. You're good. Bandits are at the door, promising us the worst fate we can imagine if we don't let them in. It's time to make a stand or surrender. Make a stand. We are able to defend our home this time. What if they come back? Our axe broke during the fight. We should get a new one as quickly as we can. Good job, Dolores. You were, uh... You know, an extra rash in there. Wait, did it say she needed water? Push the water till tomorrow. The doctors knocked on our door today, requesting some supplies. Uh, we didn't, we didn't doubt they were a real deal for a second. But they did have lab coats and everything. Sure. A bottle of relatively clean water is closest we'll ever get to hydrogen peroxide. The guests were grateful anyways. Dehydration needs some water. Okay. The mysterious sounds are coming from a radio, but they're hidden behind a ton of static. Uh, no. I don't want to tinker with the radio, thank you. I need a working radio. We got a knock. Tinkering with our radio, uh, pressure seems like a bad idea. Yeah, let's not mess with it. Dolores is good. We were admiring the radioactive landscape when we saw a young woman dressed in ragged camo clothing. She had a nasty looking rifle, but she held us in a polite enough manner. She came, claims to be a hunter tracking down mutated spider. She ran out of ammo. I do not have any ammo. Um, sorry, I wish I, I would. I would give you ammo if I had it. Timmy's got the gun, so. Oh no! This woman says she hunts mostly for food. Clearly, she's an uncivilized savage. Delicious soup is what decent people eat these days. We're not amused and to get, didn't, didn't give her anything. Timmy should have returned by now. We need to face the worst possible scenario. He might not be coming back. Okay, so it's just Dolores. Okay, uh, I'll send her out. Another girl, more bandits, jeez. Hit him with the harmonica, I guess, I mean. Uh, we lived to see another day our attempt at producing beautiful, sorrowful music that would soften their hearts resulted in a cacophony of hellish noises instead. 
The attackers ran away, covering their ears. They will probably be back. I don't have anything to prevent them from doing that. I'm gonna give you some supplies. And send you out there with the gas mask, because why the hell not? is on her way to the surface. Let's hope she makes it back. A pair of strangers, probably bandits, searched the remains of her house above. We overheard them talking. One of them mentioned they'd capture a woman whose description matched Dolores. We don't think they will let her go. We didn't make it. These are our final words. And our advice to anyone who reads it. This is... Oh, 73 days. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. I'm very happy with that for our first run. 73 days, we've consumed that much water. I defended our shelter four times. Uh, successful expedition, seven. Items brought back, 23. Awesome. I think that was, uh, that was a good first try. Soup can be stored up to 737 years. And there's the tank. Well, thank you so much for joining me on this, uh, our first run at the 60 Seconds, Reatomized. Uh, it's been a lot of fun, and I enjoyed, uh, bringing it to you. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Uh, if you like anything we do here in Unkindness of Idiots, please subscribe to our channel. And, uh, check out some of our other videos. Uh, we've got some, uh, TTRPGs, we have some Let's Play stuff, and, uh... Wednesday night uh, stream so check it out uh, find something you like and uh, thanks for joining me have a good one bye